Hi guys, good morning. It's Lindsay and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would bring you along with me on my day. I have quite a lot of errands to get done and those are some of my favorite vlogs to watch. Just watching people get their life together and do little monotonous things kind of feels like doing it with a friend. But this morning I just woke up and really wanted pancakes. So that's what I'm doing right now. If you're gluten free, this is the best pancake mix. It's from King Arthur, which is like a huge flour company. So you can really trust them. And I'm gonna make blueberry pancakes. I just got a little Nespresso machine, so I've been making coffee every day, which is kind of new if you've been watching me for a long time. I was really only drinking chai lattes, but tastes change. So I have been making a latte almost every morning, and this is an oat milk that I bought on a whim and have ended up absolutely loving from Elmhurst. It is really just perfect. It froths really well and tastes great. It's for coffee specifically. Right, let's take a peek. Oh my goodness. That's a perfect pancake. The sun is finally coming out, so it's no longer so gloomy in here. My whole apartment just looks completely different when it's gloomy. On my agenda today, I really want to sell some clothes. With the changing of the seasons, I feel like it's a good time to assess what you have in your wardrobe. And as you guys might know, I like to thrift a lot. I'm constantly buying new pieces and realistically, I just don't have the storage space and there are a lot of pieces that I don't wear. So I'm gonna go through my bins that I store for the fall and winter of turtleneck sweaters and everything like that. And then I also have a couple piles of stuff that I just haven't been wearing. And I already sold a bunch of things on Depop. If you follow me on Instagram, then you can know when I'm selling things on Depop mysterious pile of clothing in the back of my closet. I am actually really excited to see what's in here because I love fall and winter clothing. Like even just the fact I can wear a long sleeve makes me so happy. This is my absolute favorite cashmere sweater. I thrifted it for like $10. Still love this. Everlane sweater. They have some of the best sweaters of all time. This one might be kind of tight if I can't remember, so I'm gonna try that one on. I was right, this one is tight. I feel like this is just kind of swallowing me whole. It just is doing a bit too much. This turtleneck is like massive. As long as the turtleneck is a medium, I'm gonna keep it. I really hate when turtlenecks are tight around the neck. It just like, it makes you feel like you're suffocating. <laughs> This is actually exactly what I've been looking for. It's like a waffly long sleeve. This one's from Mate the Label. Do we still like tie-dye or has it kind of left? And then this one also was gifted and then I just threw it in the bin, but I haven't tried it on. So I'm gonna try that one on too. I just wanna be particular with my wardrobe. You know, I just wanna love everything that I own. Here is that purple sweater. I actually really like this. Um, it's from the brand Sophie Rue, and I've never worn it before, but it's very soft. The color's great. Now that we did that, we can go through my piles that I am definitely selling. Bright red Aritzia pants that unfortunately do not fit me, that my sister gave me. A matching workout set that also doesn't fit me. I got this on ThreadUp but didn't realize it had puff sleeves, so unfortunately I couldn't return it. Don't think I will be wearing that random t-shirt that just doesn't fit me right. If you've ever sold at Wasteland, they really like name brands. So anything from like Jeffrey Campbell sells really easily. These are a pair of Oxfords I wore in high school and I really loved them, but I tend to prefer a slightly more feminine look. These are like a very classic menswear Oxford pleather skirt that is just too long and doesn't fit right. I thrifted it without trying it on. Not much to say other than all of this stuff I'm folding just doesn't fit me right. Here's our pile. I feel pretty good that they're gonna take a lot of this stuff and the Melrose location is always so crowded. It's like a very touristy location. So I feel good that a lot of this will probably get sold and hopefully 
go to good homes because a lot of it hasn't been worn ever like there was tags on some stuff so let's do a quick fit check before i leave the house i am wearing this skirt from madewell that i got on thread up this t-shirt i actually think is from brandy melville i've had it for a very long time doc martin's jaden's my thrifted Louis Vuitton Danube bag. Um, and then my necklace. This one is from Wolf Circus. It was a new edition. I got it yesterday. And then this one is from Wandering Rose. Sunglasses are crap eyewear. And that is the look. It's kind of hard to walk very fast in this skirt, but it's cute. So we do what we have to. never vlog outside but I usually have a really pleasant time selling at that wasteland like I've made a hundred dollars two hundred dollars there today fifteen dollars I had a ritzy pants with the tag on I'm going across the street to crossroads which has a slightly lower um, percentage they give you but I figured it would be worth the try good news Crossroads took almost all of my stuff. Like this is just my other tote bag. Next time I try and sell, I'm definitely gonna go to the Wasteland Studio City. This Wasteland I think is just overpacked. Like they just don't have space for clothes. And so I think that's why they couldn't take anything of mine really. But I had a great time at the Crossroads. The girls were super nice. And I got $100 in cash, which I'm very excited about. You know, as always with selling clothes, I still overall lost money, but I'm gonna use that $100 to spend on more clothes. Mostly just excited to have some more space in my closet and not hold on to clothes that don't make me feel good and that don't fit me anymore because sometimes that just makes you even sadder. Like, I just don't need that energy in my closet it taking up space and now I can use the cash that they gave me towards clothes that makes me feel amazing and that fits me right now now I'm gonna drive home because I have therapy in about 30 minutes I have it on Thursdays in the late afternoon and I kind of like to just get cozy and like check out after I have therapy because it can be a little heavy sometimes and so that's why I schedule it for the evenings or like afternoons if possible. I just came home to three cases of kombucha from Health Aid. I cannot thank you guys enough. Oh my God, this is an entire case of passion fruit tangerine. One of my all time favorite flavors. It is so unique if you haven't tried it. This next case is Pink Lady Apple, and this is the flavor I always recommend to people that think they don't like kombucha because it kind of tastes like fizzy apple juice. It's delicious. I'm gonna crack this one open right now. And the last case is their ginger and lemon flavor, which is so good, so soothing to the stomach, and just really bright and delicious. It's my mom's favorite flavor as well, so maybe I'll have to share with her. This is so much kombucha, I don't even know what to do with it. Happy afternoon kombucha time. I could not be happier. Rosemary, sage, paprika, nutmeg, and a bacon. Nana Trader Joe's a secret. I'm loosely following a recipe by Justine Snacks, who I love on TikTok and Instagram. She has the best recipes and we're mutuals, so hopefully she'll see this, but I'm gonna try and make it vegan. She used three different cheeses, so it's gonna be different. I just scraped all of the butternut squash out, and honestly, that was a lot of work. I think in the future I'll just buy the butternut squash cubes, but now I'm gonna blend everything together. These are all the spices in the recipe, and then I'm also using oat milk and some blended soaked cashews to make this extra creamy, since I'm not using real cheese. Making a squash smoothie, essentially. It smells good. Her seasoning blend is amazing. It has nutmeg, cayenne, garlic, like you can really taste all of that. Wow. Gluten-free pasta is kind of weird. The pasta water gets really starchy. So I actually did not save any, which I know is not normal for most people. I am gonna add some nutritional yeast for some added cheesiness and black pepper. Wow, that is nice and cheesy. There is nothing better to me than a night in where I get to try out a new recipe, 
really take my time and then enjoy it. Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you haven't heard of Squarespace before, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to create a beautiful online presence and run your business. I've been using Squarespace to run my website, lindsayrem.com, for a matter of years now, and I seriously recommend it to everyone. They've really streamlined the website building process with thousands of customizable templates, as well as 24 seven customer support. So you are really in great hands when it comes to creating a website, no matter what you're looking for. In the beginning, I had mine focused on my graphic design work. So I had lots of galleries and used it as a way to get jobs. And now I use my website more as a portfolio to showcase my social media work and have an about me section as well as a blog. So there are many ways to use your website. One of my favorite things about Squarespace is that you can create a custom domain directly through them. So I have lindsayrem.com and that has helped so much in terms of branding. I highly recommend that feature. Squarespace is also amazing when it comes to blogging features. If that's something that you're interested in, you can have blog posts with threaded likes, replies, and comments, which is so amazing for creating a community. And you can also draft, categorize, and schedule blog posts to go live, which is seriously key as a creator. Squarespace also gives you access to powerful analytics and data about your website. So you can gain insight to your site visitors, where they're coming from, traffic sources, and more. Whether you're creating a portfolio site, a food blog, an online store, I highly recommend Squarespace. You can really do it all. And if you're interested, you can get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Just go to squarespace.com slash lindsayrem or use my code lindsayrem at checkout.